Hello and welcome to Shawnee High School for the start of the 2023 high school football season. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Danny Holbrook and Danny, the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds make the short trip over to Shawnee High School to take on the Indians in what is not just a rivalry game, but is also the rubber match of a three game series where they have split so far. Yeah, you look at this series, uh, Nate, and these kids know each other. Uh, a lot of them live close to each other. They live in the same uh, housing uh, you know, units and they're, they're just all friends and family and they're, they're great together, you know? So it's, it's more than a rivalry. It's, it's a lot of bragging rights on the line. Let's take a look at tonight's keys of the game brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac. Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for over 100 years, we are proud to call this home. And Danny, let's start with the visiting Thunderbirds. What are what are the keys tonight for them to come away with the victory? For Lima Central Catholic and Coach Pauldy, the first one I think is you got to limit your pre-snap mistakes. Everybody's nervous a little bit. It's the first game. You want to do your best. You can't get yourself in a hole by getting mistakes. Secondly, no big plays. Obviously, momentum huge in a game like this of a rivalry magnitude. you got to limit those big plays. And third, take care of the football. Don't turn the ball over. Don't hurt yourself when you're trying to get a game-winning drive. Shawnee, the last time these two teams played here, they came away with the victory. What do they got to do tonight to make that happen again? You know, for Shawnee, uh, it's, it's huge right now for Coach Mike Lewis, his first year, his first start. They got to win the turnover battle. If they can get three or four turnovers and, and maybe not have any, that's huge for this program. Secondly, they need to execute well in the goal line situations. If they drive the ball down, not just the goal line execution, but if they get in the red zone, they've got to come away with points. And lastly, is four full quarters of effort and hustle. This is your first game, Coach Lewis. Win or lose, your kids have got to show you they bought into everything this preseason. There is a lot of questions for both of these teams. A young Thunderbird team, a brand new coaching staff for the Indians, and the long await is over. Football is back. <laughs> and when we return, we'll have that opening kick. We'll be right back on WOSN. Welcome back to Shawnee High School. Opening kickoff is just about here, under 20 seconds left to go before the season gets underway. We'd like to thank tonight's presenting sponsor, the Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. Matthew Quatman, the junior, will be kicking it off. Back deep for the Indians. You know, Nate, about two hours ago when I texted you and said, boy, the weather sure is nasty out here. I'd have never thought we'd have, we got it's a perfect conditions tonight. 70 degrees, uh, overcast skies, and uh, a great atmosphere. Yeah, absolutely could not ask for a better night, especially like you said, how it looked just a little bit ago. But we are underway. Short kickoff taken by the Indians right up through the middle out to about the 36-yard line. That was Garrett Looney. Look, if you're Shawnee, you could not ask for a better opening play right there. They come up almost to the 40-yard line. A great set of you know, field position, and they execute, you know, 15, 20 yards down the field. They're going to put themselves in a chance to score an opening drive. So Shawnee will try and out first-year starter Caleb Bacon, the junior, goes under center. After last year's starter, Dominic Lynch actually moves out wide to the wide receiver position. Bacon takes the snap, handoff up the middle. Not a four-yard run by Garrett Looney. Brings up second and six for the Indians. I'll tell you what, Nate, they ran on the right side that time, and there was a huge hole through there. And he lost his footing a little bit, but he had a nice hole when he got through there. A great job by the Shawnee offensive line, flexing their muscles early. And I think it's going to be important for these Indians, like we've mentioned, Pat, get off that fast start. But if they can dictate that line of scrimmage against that youth of LCC sure. and put them on the heels right from the get-go, that is really going to give Shawnee the advantage. Make him take the snap. Another handoff this time to the other side. This one's Christian Coleman. Another positive gain, a gain of about three. We'll bring up third and short. Look, Nate, those are those are three and four yard gains. Those that's a great start. You, you look at last year's Shawnee team. Average game rushing was 176 yards. They love to pound the rock, and right now they're showing you they're they're going to put that offensive line on notice, and they're going to run behind those guys. So far, so good here in the early going for Shawnee. It's, it looked like they've been able to create some space up front. A big third down here on the opening possession for the Indians. Bacon back in the shotgun. Four wide for the Indians. Bacon looks to the sidelines. Gonna go to the air. This one's caught underneath. 
A great run that time for a Citizens Bank first down for the Indians. Nate, that was a great constructed play. Did you see what the backfield did? The backfield came out. They took the linebackers completely opposite of the play, and they brought the other back out in a little swing pass. What a great play. And great catch by catch and run by Derek Lyons that time. First first down of the game for Shawnee. They're going to stay in the shotgun as we're going to see for the majority of tonight. They're going to hand this one up off the middle. Lions moves to the left. Nice move. And we got our first flag of the game. We'll see who this one is on. That was a really, really huge hole there on the left side of the offensive line, but I think that's coming back because you don't get holes like that unless you're holding it. I think we got a hold on that play. <laughs> Wait for the official word, but there it is as there will be a hold. The officials are going to walk this one off to erase that big gain by Lions, but here in the early going, if you're Shawnee, you have got to be encouraged with what you've been able to do in the run game. Absolutely, and that defensive line for LCC is going to have to shore it up because this could be a problem for them all night. Now, obviously, Coach Paul will make adjustments here as the game goes on, but right now, Shawnee's offensive line is controlling this game. Going to be first and long for the Indians after the holding penalty. Come out four wide. Top receiver Dominic, Dominic Lynch here on the near side. Bacon going to go to the air. He was looking for Lynch. He got hit. And they're going to say it was a fumble picked up by J.J. Spiker. Great heads up play by the sophomore to see that, pick that one up and advance it upfield. And, and that's what the young quarterback for Shawnee's got to recognize. He's got about a four step drop and that's the time he's going to be allowed. He's got to have that clock in his head and know that he's got to release that ball. Those receivers can only get up. And look, this is a slick turf tonight. That rain has caused that turf to be a little slick. So he's got to get rid of that ball quick. And you got to give credit to that defensive front of LCC. Sure. We had been talking about how Shawnee had been dominating the line of scrimmage, but that time they did a great job getting into the backfield. Nine nineteen left to go here in the opening quarter. Three wide receiver bunch on the far sideline. And we're going to have a timeout called this time. We'll see if it was prior to the flag, and it was. Yeah. Shawnee is going to get the timeout. We will step aside and be back on WOSN. <laughs> Welcome back. Shawnee needed to take the timeout. There's a little confusion down on the field. And, and Nate, that's a really good timeout for Coach Lewis. You know, uh, it's his first year, and he wants his guys to be on the same page, and they've done a really nice job with this first possession. So that's a good timeout. Now, you know, somebody may argue with me and say that, you know, they wasted one, but I think it's a really good timeout. Bacon going to drop back, go to the air, swings it to the left. Here's Christian Coleman. Coleman with, tried to change direction that time, but looks like he lost his footing. Stopped by LCC for a short game. That's a great job of the defensive end for uh, the T-Birds as they stayed home right there, and they shed that block off by the split end, and he was able to cut back in and keep that gain to about a yard and a half. Shawnee going to the hurry up now. Call coming in from the sidelines. Third and long, 840 left to go here in the opening quarter. Looks like a little confusion on the quarterback's part as he's waiting on that play to come in. Bacon gets the call, tries to get everybody lined up. Five seconds left on the play clock. Bacon gets a snap off, going to go to the air, going to go deep. Goes along that far sideline and just out of the reach of the junior, Michael Garlock, not able to track that one down. Garlock had a step on him, and uh, the, the ball was placed just out of the reach of that young man. A nice job by Bacon and not panicking. The play wasn't coming in as quick as he wanted it to, but he didn't panic. He stood in there, and he used all of the play clock, and he had a nice pass downfield. So a nice opening drive by Shawnee. Yeah, one of the keys for Shawnee coming in, as the Coach Lewis talked about, was playing a clean game. They needed to avoid penalties, and that big holding penalty on huge. first down killed the momentum, and now they're going to have to punt the ball away to LCC. Joel Stern back for the punt. He sends this one deep. Oh, nice Carson punt. Parker was back. 
And this one is going to oh. bounce all the way down to the three-yard line. A great punt by Joel Stern as Elsie, or excuse me, Shawnee has pinned LCC deep in their own um, back in their own side of the field. Yeah, the Shawnee coaching staff talked about winning the battle of special teams. And by golly, right there, a great job by the punter from Shawnee as he puts the coffin corner, and they're on the three-yard line. So now it's going to be LCC's time as Carson Parker, the senior, is going to lead the Thunderbirds out. Anybody in this area knows about Carson Parker and what he can do on the gridiron. He's got a young team around him, but Matthew Quatman still back in the backfield with him and a very dangerous offense that the T-Birds have. Carson's going to call his own number, goes up the middle, can pick up about three on the play. Look, Nate, we, we talk about a lot of quarterbacks in this area, and, you know, obviously Tavion St. Clair from Bell Fountain, Ryan Montgomery from Lima Senior, but I'm here to tell you, Carson Parker takes a backseat to knowing he can throw the ball, he can run the ball. He is a Division One prospect. He's being recruited by some of the biggest schools in the country. This kid's the real deal. Yeah, Carson has had a tremendous career, and he is looking to try to lead his team this year. They have a very difficult schedule, but when you have – a QB like him in the backfield, <laughs> you can go up against anybody. <laughs> Parker moving around his teammates, sends the man in motion, takes the snap. He's going to hand this one off. Had him in the backfield, but a great job to shake free as number nine, Mylon Cowens, able to get free for a moment at least. And Shawnee does a great job of getting to him quickly and dropping him for a loss. Well, the first man got through there, and he disrupted the entire play. What a great job. And I couldn't see his number. The black jerseys are really tough to read that number. But he did a great job of getting in there and just disrupting the entire play. And, and you know, you were talking earlier about Nate Garlock and, or excuse me, <laughs> sorry, Nate, about Carson Parker. You talked about his skill set. And uh, one thing great about him is when the play breaks down, he can really get out and execute. Third down and long for the Thunderbirds. Parker's going to pull it down, tries to work that right side. And the Shawnee defense was right there to force him out of bounds. Looks like it was Dominic Lynch that got a hold of him first. That's going to bring up fourth down. And Shawnee's going to have a great opportunity for some field position. I want to tell you something, Nate. And I heard Coach Pulte talking about it today on the radio. He talked about Shawnee's team speed. Right now, Shawnee's team speed is really playing a difference in this game, offensively and defensively. That defensive line for Shawnee was outstanding on that possession. Carson Parker, we talked about how good he is as a quarterback, but he plays everywhere. He's also the punter for this team. Yeah. He's back in the end zone waiting the snap. Punt gets away clean. He sends a great kick right around near midfield. As this one is muffed but recovered by the Indians, and they will take over right around the 50-yard line. Well, Nate, the first possession, they started at the 38-yard line, and we said, you know, it can't get much better to start a possession. They're going to start this possession at the 50-yard line. So kudos to Shawnee's defense for keeping them right where they needed to be. And we'll see if Shawnee's able to build on that first drive that they had. We saw a lot of momentum early. They had the ball moving. The run game on the inside was working well. A big penalty pushed them back deep. A couple of uh, misconnections through the air. They had to punt that one away, killed that drive. But they'd love to get going again here on first and 10. Trips in the backfield. That's a lot of options right there. Here's Lyons as he moves up towards the front, stays on his feet after he bounces off a couple of would-be tacklers, picks up five yards for second and five. Derek Lyons, the senior, is going to be able to do a lot um, for Shawnee out of the backfield. Him and Christian Coleman will do most of the running. And one thing to, to, to keep in mind, not a negative play so far for Shawnee. They've moved the ball in front of the line of scrimmage all night. A great offensive game plan so far. Second and five, Bacon waits on the snap. He's going to go to the air. Going to throw it deep. Got Dominic Lynch. Lynch not able to get to it as that one was a little underthrown. And that's going to be picked off by the sophomore, Josh Young. Great job by Young of recognizing that one. Kind of putting his foot in the turf that time to slow himself down and got an easy interception. Well, not only did Josh Young make the interception, Nate, but did you see him hold off the receiver? He turned into the receiver himself, played a little defensive back there by keeping him at an angle and not letting him get to the ball. We talked about that before the game started. You cannot throw the ball away. You cannot turn the ball over. So 
Mr. Bacon's had a really nice game so far, and he's going to learn from that play. He's going to understand when not to throw the ball, but uh, not, not a good decision right there. And Shawnee's talked about, you know, the changing of this offense and kind of getting away from what they had seen with sure. a former Cooper or former coach Jerry Cooper where they were pretty run heavy. They wanted to air the ball out. So going to be a lot of opportunities. First carry of the night for Matthew Quatman. He gets positive yardage. No, but you're going to see some of those growing pains as you're sure. trying to work through some of these things. And, and a lot of these guys are kind of, you know, first time really playing that type of offense. Leads to a turnover that time, though. So LCC, first or uh, five yard gain on first down, brings up second and five. Well, and, and you look, the reason the defense looks really good right now. They're playing a good, consistent game right now. I know it's early in the game, but you got to remember this Shawnee defense last year gave up 39 plays of 20 yards or more, and, and that's that's huge. So they're really focused on keeping the big plays at a minimum, just like right there. What a great job! See, Parker called his own name that time, but Shawnee recognized it quickly, flew to the ball, and was able to get him down for no gain. Drew Isley and Dominic Lynch were in on the tackle for Shawnee. And, and, and let's not forget the, the Thunderbirds are, are playing a lot of sophomores, three seniors on that roster. And there's, you know, they're a very young team. Everybody forgets they lost some, some key pieces last year to that great run they had, uh, you know, in the state tournament. So this is a young team, but they're led by a veteran quarterback, which is huge. Parker waits on the snap. It's going to go to the air this time. Hits it on the slant. This one goes up, but I believe we're going to have pass interference as Mylon Cowan had a lot of contact as that pass was coming. Yeah, the receiver kind of turned towards the middle of the field, and uh, he just kind of got there before the ball did. They're going to call that one pass interference. What a laser beam by Parker there as he threw that one hard. Is pass interference against the Indians, so that is going to give LCC their first first down of the night. That's another Citizens National Bank first down. Four seventeen left to go here in the opening quarter. We're still scoreless. LCC with the football for their second drive of the night. Parker in the shotgun, flanked by Quatman. And comes in motion. Parker going to call zone number one more time right up the middle. He's going to get a five-yard gain after that one. And you see the versatility of Parker right there. He's not afraid to mix it up with those interior linemen. And he's a big kid, 6'3", you know. He's not afraid to take a hit. Shawnee right now having trouble with Parker when he goes up the middle. It's been when he's trying to go to the outside that they've been able to get him down quickly. But up the middle, there's been some big holes, and Parker's taking advantage. Second down, five yards to go. Parker going to work to the right side, going to go to the air. Looked like he stumbled that time. Wide open behind the entire secondary. Billy Burke is going to go in for the touchdown. A blown coverage by the Indians leads to a long touchdown for LCC. Yeah, Burke got behind the secondary, and uh, they lost him right there in containment, and he was wide open. Nice Billy play Burke, by the birds. And Billy Burke may never find an easier catch <laughs> that time as he was all alone as LCC gets the scoring underway. Now LCC going to come out for the extra point. Matthew Quaman is the kicker. Junior gets himself set. This is the first year that Quatman has kicked for LCCs. Tap is down, ball is up, and it is good. So LCC takes the early 7-0 lead. 3.27 left to go here in the first quarter. We'll step aside and be back. Shawnee, where LCC scored the first Fat Jack's Pizza touchdown. 
Fat Jack's Pizza touchdown. Get your Fat Jack's Pizza before or after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. Billy Burke with the easy walk-in touchdown as he was able to get behind the entire secondary of Shawnee. Followed that up by T&D Interior's extra point by Matthew Quatman. And it gives them the 7-0 lead. Well, Billy Burke's never going to be that wide open. <laughs> he, uh, he got behind the secondary. And, and really, you know, it's 7 to nothing. Shawnee's defense has not played a bad game. Again, we talked about limiting big plays, and that was their Achilles last year. And here we go again with another big play of 70 yards. Nice kick return for the Indians. As Looking to see who returned that kick. Like you said, sometimes them red numbers aren't the easiest. Tough to, tough to read, aren't they? <laughs> I, be, I believe that was J.J. Spiker, number nine, who picked that up and moved it out from beyond, uh, just beyond the 35-yard line. Shawnee will come out for the third time. Had some success early. They did. But a penalty and a turnover killed their last two drives. Yeah, this Look. is a huge drive, Nate. It really is. A response is what I call this. Here's Lyons working through some traffic. Breaks a couple of tackles and gets a nice gain out of what looked was going to possibly be no, no gain or a loss. Yeah, he got a nice four-yard gain. I'll take that every time. Well, they're saying five now, so. Uh, you know, look, I'm not a coach, and I'm just going to say this. I don't know that I'd throw the ball right now. They're really having success running the ball between the tackles, and their, their offensive line is really doing a good job. Yeah, right now, really no reason to get away from that. No. Coleman and Lyons doing a great job of getting through that line and picking up yardage. Four wide set. Lyons in the backfield with Bacon. Bacon is going to go to the air. Going to pass this one out deep, looking to try to connect with Coleman, but just out of his reach as he tried to dive. It's going to bring up third and five. That's a tough pass for anybody to make, Nate. That's a that's a long pass. That's a that's 20, 25 yards across there, and uh, that takes a really strong arm. He just didn't have enough right there at the end of it. Oh, excuse me, I think I see, keep saying Christian Coleman. It's Christian Jones, not Coleman. Well, Christian wondering. Coleman is a phenomenal track athlete. Well, I was wondering. And, and, very, and I'll tell you what, Jones has breakaway speed. Uh, you know, it's easy, but. It's, you sorry, kept it's saying Christian, Christian Coleman, Jones. I kept thinking, Christian Jones. wow, that kid's got the same name as the world champion sprinter. Yeah. Yeah, so Christian Jones, excuse me, I apologize to Christian. <laughs> Actually, well, a neighbor of mine, so it makes it even a little bit <laughs> worse. Going to go back to the air. Bacon pulls it down, looks for some an avenue to run around that right side. He's going to get met out of bounds. Looked like a little bit of a late hit, Shawnee wanted, but the officials say no. And that's going to bring up fourth and four. Yeah, there was a little bit of shoving and pushing over there on the sidelines, and uh, Shawnee not happy with that play, but uh, they're going to have to punt the ball away, try to pin LCC deep. Joel Stern had a great punt his first time as he was able to pin LCC inside the five yard line. He's gonna look to send another one deep here again. Stern gets the punt off clean. Nice high punt. It's gonna be down just inside the 25 yard line. So Stern with two excellent punts, flipping the field position. For Shawnee, LCC is going to come back out looking to build off of their last drive. Look, there's only one reason that was a fair catch is because he got height on that kick. That was a tremendous kick. I don't care what level you're at. You put the ball that high in the air, you give your defenders time to get down there, and that receiver for LCC had no choice but to fair catch that. 60-plus yard punt that time for Stern. He's an absolute weapon right now. He really is. 2.19 left to go here in the opening quarter. LCC on top, 7-0 as Carson Parker comes back out. So Shawnee last time blow a coverage deep and left Billy Burke wide open for the long touchdown. We'll see what adjustments they make on this drive as Parker calls his own number. He gets stopped behind the line, but this is what makes him so difficult. He was just hit by four different guys before going down. Is that what should have been a one or two yard loss? turned into a five-yard game. Yeah, he, he recognized that he was stopped on the right side and bounced off of his tackle, comes around to this side, and he does a great job of making something out of nothing. He's so a very official, smart player. So officially only a three-yard game. They brought it back a few yards. So second and seven, 145 and counting here in the opening quarter. 
Well, remember, you know, he had 33 touchdowns last year. He, he, he runs the ball well. He's, he's a fantastic athlete. He's not afraid of contact by any stretch. This one's going to be a sweep to Mylon. Miles Cowan gets taken down after about a two to three yard gain. And the reason Cowan got the yard as he did, did you see Parker with a great fake? And you have to account for that because he could have came on this side of the field. So the Shawnee defense kind of confused on that one. That's, that was a nice play call. Third and short for the Thunderbirds. And this is one of those times too where LCC doesn't have to get too fancy. They know what's worked. You know, you're not afraid to run Parker right up the middle. You got weapons on the outside. You have Matthew Quatman as well, who has tremendous speed in the backfield. Oh, we've seen it a couple times where Parker takes that step back and then all of a sudden just goes up straight up the middle. He follows his center through the hole. We'll see if they do it this time. And this one off to Quatman. He goes off the right side and a big hole and a big gain for LCC as he gets up near the 40-yard line. Yeah, another great play fake by Parker. I thought he had the ball. It was coming on our side of the field and a great job of getting it to Quatman. That is going to be another Citizens National Bank first down. They're going to move the sticks at the 39-yard line. Clock is still running. We'll see. There's only 15 seconds left to go here on the play clock. Parker's going to take the snap. That's a man in motion. Going to keep it himself. Works to that right side one more time. They must see something on that right side that they think they can exploit because most of their positive plays have been off that end. Yeah, they've ran that edge, that edge uh, play three or four times the same way. So that is going to bring the first quarter to a close as LCC is going to be on top, seven to nothing on the big pass play. Parker to Burke as he was able to walk in and give LCC here the lead in the opening quarter. We'll step aside and be back on WOSA. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. I'd also like to take, thank tonight's quarter sponsor, Binkley Real Estate. Binkley Real Estate has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaigns, and extensive network that will get you the results that move you. We flip field position here as LCC looking at a second down and six here to begin the second quarter. They're on top, seven to nothing. You look at the, uh, the three big plays in this game other than the touchdown, the holding on first down that uh, put uh, Shawnee in a hole, the interception, and the pass interference has led to LCC with a 7 nothing lead. Parker takes the snap, going to hand it off to Quatman up the middle. He had a big hole. And it looks like he's going to be right near the first down marker. The uh, Lima Central Catholic offensive line is kind of taking it to heart now that uh, Shawnee was flexing their muscles a little bit. Now you're seeing that big offensive line from LCC really start to churn out those yards. So Quaman was just short of the first down. It's going to bring up third and one for LCC. It seems like this offense is starting to find a rhythm. Shawnee's going to have to find a way to get a stop. Parker back in the shotgun, going to take this one himself. He goes right up the middle. He's going to pick up another five or six yards off the right side. And you know exactly what LCC's doing right now. They're going to run that ball, run that ball, until Shawnee has to stack that line, and then they're hoping for single coverage on the outside or deep in the backfield. It's going to be another Citizens National Bank first down. Citizens National Bank, see how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Substitution coming in, Dakota Gerdman. As you see, Mylon Cowan on the, the far side. Altman in the backfield along with Parker. First and 10 for LCC. Gonna be another handoff to Qualman up the middle. This time he's dragged down after a gain of only two. Garrett Looney in on the stop for the Indians. Second and eight as LCC right now feels like they have all the momentum. 
Shawnee's going to have to try to find some way to turn this around. Now, that may be a big play when you look back at the scheme of things. Only two yards on first down. They were getting three and four yards on first down and making an easy second and third down. But now you're second and eight. If, uh, if Shawnee can hold right here, this is a big third down play. Parker going to go to the air. Going to look to go deep. Mylon had a step and lets that one go through his hands. Looked like there might have been a little bit of a push off with that right hand by Cowan, but he got the space he needed and couldn't gather it in as it fell to the turf. Yeah, he got separation. And I'll tell you what, Carson Parker threw a bomb. You could not have put that ball anymore on the money. He threw that 50 yards in the air and it looked effortless. And uh, that should have been a touchdown, but unfortunately, uh, the young man dropped it. And that was one where, if you were Parker, that's having trust in your receiver. Absolutely. When he threw that ball, Cowan was not open. He was step and step with the receiver, but he trusted that his receiver was going to win that and got open. And you know what? He's going to continue to throw that, and that's why he's the sure. leader he is. Well, and Cowan's going to make big plays. I promise you that. You know, he's going to make bigger plays this year. Parker trying to get away, turns his body, goes deep. This one's going to be picked off by Shawnee as a receiver had come wide open. But Parker with a difficult pass that time as he had to turn his body, not able to get his feet set as he threw across his own body. And that's going to lead to a turnover for Shawnee. Yeah, that, that, that's a tough throw for anybody at any level, Nate. He's going to his left, throws back across his body. And I don't know if Coach Lewis is going to tell his defensive backs, hey, look, that was third and eight. Just knock that ball down, and then we get a chance to, uh, you know, for a punt return. But nonetheless, you know, if I got a chance to intercept the ball, I'm going to make the interception. <laughs> it was a great play by the sophomore, Chase De Palma. He's the one that came up with that interception. So now here's Shawnee with an opportunity here to see if they can't take advantage of the turnover. Bacon's going to hand this one off. Here's Jones. Jones wrapped up by a flying Carson Parker. He kind of plays that center field position for LCC, and he just came out of nowhere. I think Parker's a little frustrated. He is not happy he threw that interception. And unfortunately, he took it out on Jones that time. Look, if he doesn't pan out as a quarterback, that kid could play linebacker for me any day. He is a stud on the field. Christian Jones able to pick up three yards before being stopped. It's going to be second and seven for Shawnee. LCC on top. Let's take a look at the Web Insurance scoreboard. Seven to nothing. Jones goes in motion. This one's going to be handoff to Lions. Lions is going to work up off of a little bit of a hole there on that right side. Going to bring up third and short for Shawnee. See, and, and the ability for the offensive line, Nate, is to put them in a good third and short position to make those third downs manageable, and that's exactly what they're doing. And I completely agree with you. There's no reason to throw the ball right now when you're effectively running the ball like they are. Yeah, I don't. I can't think of yet one play from Shawnee that they've had a negative they play they running the yet. ball. Right, right. They have not. Eight thirty left to go here in the second. Shawnee looking at a third and short. Bacon, he's going to drop back. He's going to throw. And a little bit of a rush that time. I think he felt the pressure coming through that one short of his intended receiver, Cole Sutherland. And that's going to bring up another punt situation for Shawnee. I really thought they would run the ball there, and I'll tell you why, Nate. A couple of reasons. You're backed up on the 12-yard line, and, you know, that's a risky place to be throwing the ball there with this field as wet as it is. I thought they would run the ball there, but nonetheless, they made that decision. And, and uh, you know, punt, punt is a good play. Remember Jim Tressel, that was his theory all the time. Joel Stern has had two very good punts here in this game. He's getting ready to send his third of the night. This one a little bit more of a line drive, end over end. This one's going to get picked up and immediately going to get uh, knocked down by Cowan right there. Looks like they're going to mark him just inside the 50 at the 48-yard line, and that's where LCC will take over. Well, great field position for the birds here as uh, half the field already behind him. And, uh, I can promise you Carson Parker's not going to make that same mistake as he, uh, you know, he's, he's a really smart, heady football player. He understands what he did wrong on that play. So we'll watch and see what he does on this set of downs. Tonight's instant replays are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where homestyle happens here. Parker keeps this one himself. 
and he is going to be dropped for no game that time. A little bit fortunate even to get back to the line of scrimmage to bring up second and ten. Great job by the uh, Shawnee linebackers. He's cutting in the middle there and really taking his legs out from underneath of him. I think it's really the first time that we've seen Carson not able to get positive yardage yeah. for the most part, especially when he's tried the middle of the field there. He's had a five or six yard gain almost every time. Well, I think what they've Shawnee's done is they, they've got a linebacker that's spying on him now. And if he comes up that middle, that's his job is to you know stay in that lane and take him out. Blotman's going to swing out. The pass is going to come to him. Double pass, third out there and taken away and caught by LCC. What a catch by Billy Burke as he went up and just took that away from Sterling. I'm stunned, Nate. I am absolutely stunned. I thought the, uh, the Shawnee defender had that interception the whole way, and Burke comes up with an incredible reception. Yeah, it looked like that one was going to end up going Shawnee's way, but Burke, tall, strong, and athletic, goes up and makes something happen. And now LCC is down in the red zone for the first time tonight. And Dr. Underbrink at the eyesight of Lima and Delphus provide quality, comprehensive eye care to Lima, Delphus, and surrounding areas. Visit the eyesight of Lima.com for more information as they are tonight's red zone sponsors. Quatman working through some traffic, gets across the 10 yard line. Looks like that might be enough for another first down, and it is. That's a great job of the offensive line for LCC. They made a hole, and Quatman just goes through there and almost takes it in the end zone. Looks like we got yeah. some laundry on the field, though. Okay, I did not see that. So it looked like Quatman might have had another Citizens National Bank first down, but a hole is going to bring this one back. Ten-yard penalty. They're going to go back around the... Uh, I believe it's going to be the 30-yard line. Yeah. Does it look like this hold actually happened in the backfield? Yeah, they're going to take it all the way back to the 30. You're right. So a big loss as it is going to be first and 21 or 22 for LCC. You know, Shawnee, this is a big statement by their defense. If you can keep them out of the end zone and keep this at a one-score game, you know, you're, you're, you're very much in this game. You don't want to get down too, you know, you don't want to take yourself out of your game plan. When you have to, look, Shawnee's not a high scoring offense. You know, they, they're going to grind that ball out. So they've got to keep this at a one score minimum. Under seven left to go here in the half. LCC gets the play from the sidelines. Parker directing traffic, getting everybody set. Parker takes the snap, going to look out wide. Quatman, nobody anywhere near him, as he's going to get all of that penalty yardage back. And you saw right there how strong that kid's arm is. He just slung that thing out there. No hesitation, and that was a bead. Matthew Quatman is not somebody that you don't want to account for. And that time, looks like Shawnee lost where he was, as he had a lot of green in front of him once he caught that ball. You want to get your athletes in space, and they did a great job right there getting him out on the boundary and get a one-on-one -on -one situation. I think it's getting warmer, Nate, don't you? I do, too. Down. A night that started off looked like we were going to be cold and wet pretty much all night long. It's turned out to be a beautiful night for the opening night of football. Parker going to call this one himself, going to work to that right side, tries to get up, makes another man miss. As he is so elusive, he is sneaky fast. When you watch him run, he doesn't look like he's as quick as he is. But as you saw right there, he's so elusive. He had three, man, three guys miss, was able to turn what looked like was once again going to be almost a no gain into another Citizens National Bank first down. And it looked like there was a hold in the backfield, and the, and the Shawnee coaching staff was screaming hold. And I heard some of the fans here right in front of us screaming hold. And it did look like that, but there was no play or no call made. Now LCC on the five-yard line, first and goal. <laughs> Parker's going to work it right up the middle, pick up two or three yards. And, and there's not a lot of offenses when you look at them and you say five and in, almost a guarantee. But when you have somebody who can run like Carson Parker, it's almost a guarantee for you. You have to feel like there's no way that you're not going to come away with a touchdown. Well, there, there's no reason to go away from anything other than what they did on that last play. Right here at the goal line, I'm going to do that four times. Yeah. You know? The offensive line of LCC, which is very young, two sophomores, two juniors, and they have been doing a nice job creating space for Parker as he's been able to work up the middle. 
That Indian defense looking to hold strong here, and we're going to have a timeout as Coach Baldy wants to talk about it. 5.07 left to go in the half. LCC on the doorsteps of their end zone. We're going to step aside and be back. Listen. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Web Insurance Agency. Web Insurance Agency is serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Malafte. Tonight's instant replays are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpaw, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken or Homestop happens here. I'd also like to thank tonight's presenting sponsor, the Union Bank. The Union Bank is committed to you. Coming out of the timeout, Parker gonna keep this one right up the middle and he just plows through as he's gonna get in for another touchdown. Yeah, that was that was all Carson Parker right there. Use his big 6-4 frame, just push himself in the end zone and a nice drive by the birds. Carson Parker gives LCC their second Fat Jack's Pizza touchdown of the night. Fat Jack's Pizza, get your pizza before or after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. Matthew Quatman. He's lining up TD Interior Extra Point. TD Interiors for quality you can stand. Visit TD Interiors on Allentown Road. Hey, we'd be remiss to not mention the, the beautiful facility they've got here at Shawnee. And they put a new track in, and if our camera girls get a shot of that track, they don't have the lines in yet, but that red color just pops out here. The field's in great shape. They've done a really nice job with this facility. Bobman waits the snap. Burke holds. Snap is down. Kick is up. And it is good. LCC on top. 14 0. 5 3 left to go here in the half. And Danny, what looked like a pretty promising start here in the first and even in the second from this Shawnee offense has really started to sputter and they've had a hard time getting things going. Yeah, they've just, you know, the, the big mistake on the first drive that Shawnee, or the, excuse me, LCC scored on was the holding play that, you know, put Shawnee in the hole. And then they had the interception but they've allowed Carson Parker to pretty much do what he wants with his legs. Look, everybody's going to have problems with that this year. Don't get me wrong, not just Shawnee, but they've got to figure out a way to keep him in the pocket when he's passing the ball. They've got to put pressure on him. But in order to put pressure on him, Nate, those defensive backs have really got to tighten down on the outside, and they've got to give those D linemen a chance to get in there and hit Parker. LCC comes out. Waltman will send the kick off. You have... Christian Jones back deep, Derek Lyons, J.J. Spiker back there as well for the Indians. And it's, this feels like this is a very big yeah, drive for Shawnee where they've got to come away with some something something good has to yeah, happen here right. for the Indians. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Any type of score here. And here's the thing. Christian Jones back here deep is a threat. He can get the ball, and he can get – if he gets – you know, any position to break it away, that young man can do it. So this is it. You're right. This is a key drive for the Shawnee Indians. If Jones gets the opportunity. He's going to do his best Christian Coleman I was going to say Christian, Col Christian Coleman, Christian Jones. <laughs> and, take, <laughs> and, and, and try to take this one. Well, Wattman's going to keep this one low. Square yeah. kick, and it's just going to fall on it for the Indians. So they have good field position yet again. Nice job falling on that one, not wanting anything bad to happen. As the Shawnee offense is going to come out looking for a, a better result this time around. Yeah, you know, no, you got to play mistake-free football right now. You've got to find something. You got to get some positive momentum going into the second half, and a score right here would be absolutely huge. First and ten on the 32-yard line. There's the Indians trying to get some points heading into the locker room here. Bacon going to take the snap. Quick fire on the far sideline to Lynch. He's able to catch this one and go out of bounds. Going to bring up second and four for the Indians. I like the young Bacon quarterback. I think he's done a nice job, Nate. He, he made a mistake with the interception, but he's done a nice job of leading this offense so far tonight. So it looked like Shawnee wanted to go hurry up that time, but now they're going to go ahead and huddle as Bacon comes over to the sideline to get the play. Officially second and three for Shawnee. Lynch and Spiker out wide for Shawnee. Garlock and Jones on the near side. 
This one is tipped and intercepted. Another turnover for the Thunderbirds as Bacon was trying to go for the quick pass to Spiker, but a great job by the LCC line to read that one, get their hands on it, and that is their second turnover of the game. That's just an unfortunate play right there, Nate, because the defensive lineman from LCC made a sensational play. There's not a lot of high school kids that can tip the ball and come down with the interception. Give all the credit to him. You know, Bacon may have been able to get the ball up higher, but that really wasn't a lot of his fault. That was just a sensational defensive play. And we talked about uh, what kind of definitive drive that was for yeah. the Indians. But on the other side, oh, this yeah. could be one for the Thunderbirds where yeah, they can, can go up 21-0 into the uh, into the locker room and really change the dynamics of this team. Yeah, you can really shut the door right now in the first half. Wattman worked around that edge. Looked like he was going to have some space, but got stood up after about a four-yard game. Four thirty left to go. It's going to be second and seven for the Thunderbirds. Freshman Mikey Quatman out as he comes, lines up towards this near side. Billy Burke also out here as well. Parker going to take this one himself. Works up along that right side. Had a big hole as he's going to get taken down at the 34-yard line, and that is going to be a Citizens National Bank first down. That was just a great alignment by LCC. They had their guys spread out on the field. The linebackers had to help back with the safeties because they were in single coverage on the outside, and Parker recognized it, just takes it up the middle and gets seven, eight yards. We are going to have an in injured Indians player down. We will step aside and be back. Listen. Welcome back to Shawnee High School. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Danny Holbrook. The injured player Chase DePalma able to come off the field under his own power. See, he's holding his hamstring. They've got him down on the field, I think, uh, maybe cramping up a little bit, which, which we see a lot of early in the season. Now Carson Parker comes out. He is trying to lead his team on another scoring drive to see if they can't go up big against the Indians. Parker taking his time assessing the defense. Not in any hurry right now as they let that clock wind down. Under five on the play clock. He's going to take the snap, going to keep it himself. Goes off the left side this time. Another big hole as he's going to get taken down after about an eight-yard gain. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a real problem right now for Shawnee is Carson Parker's ability to run between the tackles. He's getting seven, eight yards of carry. There's no reason to go away from that. And as soon as you do go away from that, he's got the ability to stand back there and pick you apart. I tell you what, I am very impressed with this front line of LCC. Absolutely. They are young, not a ton of experience, having to step into roles that they just aren't haven't been used to and this is game one and right now after a little bit of a shaky start sure they yeah. are they are taking things over that's a great call mate second and short parker going to keep it himself again works it right up the middle works through some contact he's going to work out why he's trying to get to the pylon and he does touchdown lcc that's just athleticism right there he bounces to the right side uses that six four frame and that speed i'm telling you nate he is fantastic and he's going to have a great senior season that is Carson Parker's second Fat Jack's Pizza's touchdown, as tonight's touchdowns are sponsored by Fat Jack's Pizza. Get to Fat Jack's Pizza before or after the game and enjoy the delicious pizza, fun games, and ice-cold drinks. So far, Matthew Quatman is a perfect two for two on extra points as he lines up his third T&D interior extra point. T&D Interior tonight, extra point sponsor. For quality you can stand, visit T&D Interiors on Allentown Road. Kick is up. This one is good as well as LCC goes on top, 21 to nothing, with 2:52 left to go. You know, if that last drive that we talked about for Shawnee was imperative to have something positive happen, this is a must-have. 
a must-have. Something has to start going right. It's the first game you can sense by some of the body language of the Indians. They are frustrated. They want to know how to they, – they're trying to figure out how to turn things around sure. right now, and they got to get something going that gives them that confidence. Well, well not only that, Nate, but you look at the, the entire game, and LCC gets the ball first in the second half. You've got to put something on right here. Because the way that offense, we, we talked about Shawnee's offensive line in the first quarter. They played a really nice first quarter down 7 0, but they moved the ball when they wanted to. And now you're just seeing a completely opposite. Shawnee, or excuse me, LCC's offensive line is just dominating this game. So, short time. Shawnee does still have two timeouts left. So there's 2.52 left to go here in the first half. Wildman lines up to kick off. Sends it away, another squib kick. This one's gonna get picked up. Gonna move along that right side, spin through some traffic, it ends up getting taken down right around the 42, 43 yard line. So the junior, Caleb Bacon, really making his first start. He got some time last year uh, due to the injury to Dominic Lynch. But really, the first time that the ball has been handed to him and said, hey, this is yours, this is your team, lead this offense, as he's going to come out here and try to get something going for this Indians team. Well, the most important thing right now is to put him in a position to succeed. Call the plays that are going to help that young man do his best and work with his skill set. Bacon's going to drop back. Throws this one out wide. What a great catch by Lions. Lions works through some traffic. Gets taken down on the other side of the 50. And what a tremendous play by Tarek Lions. Look right now, that's the first game of the year, but that's my catch of the year right now. That was fantastic. And not just to catch it, but to keep his feet and then pick up so many yards as he gets another Citizens National Bank first down for the Indians as Shawnee is going to go in the hurry up. And I like the play calling right here. Move that ball, get up the line of scrimmage, and let's go. I like the confidence, though, too. You know, coming off of the, the interception as this one goes out wide to Lynch. So he's able to gather that one in, and clock going to continue to run. But there was no, hey, you know what, let's just hand it off. Right, let's just right. get out of this. No, we trust you. We're going to go back to the air. We're not going to get away. And building some confidence in their quarterback. Yeah, I have zero problem with that right now. At 21-0, let that young man play and let him use his skill set. And he's doing a great job of leading him right now. Under two left to go here in the half. Shawnee trying to get a drive going. Bacon. Waits for the snap in the shotgun. It's going to go deep. Going to go. Throws it long. He's got Has it. a receiver got open. It's caught. And it is a just shy of an Indians <laughs> touchdown on the two-yard line. A great catch by Michael Garlock. Almost gets into the end zone. Dad's proud of that one. Michael Garlock gets behind the secondary. What a great job by that young man, Nate. Reminds me of a young Nate Garlock. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, though, what a throw by Caleb Bacon. Oh he has goodness. had a rough time tonight. He's had a lot of traffic in the backfield. We've seen him underthrow a couple of balls, throw a couple long yep. as well. He stood in that pocket. He delivered a great ball into some traffic. And now Shawnee on the doorsteps of getting their first score of the season. And remember, one of our keys to the game was once you get on the goal line, you've got to score. Quick snap, going to be a fumble. Bacon able to fall down on it. Avoids tragedy that time. As that one's going to be down right about the five-yard line. Still two timeouts left for the Indians as they are in the eyesight of Lima and Delphi's red zone for the first time tonight. This is critical, Nate. You're on the doorstep of scoring a touchdown. You've got to come through, put that ball in the end zone. You can't make mistakes like that, and don't let that catch go for nothing. Under a minute left to go as Shawnee is letting the clock run here. It's still two timeouts. It is second and goal. And now they're going to call the timeout as this is going to be a Shawnee timeout, their second of the half, with 42 seconds left to go. They're going to talk about it as they want to come away with points. We'll step aside and be back. Welcome back tonight.
Tides Instant Replay sponsors Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Shawnee coming out of the timeout. Second down, looking to get into the end zone. Bacon's going to drop back. Pass is going to go wide. Jump ball into the corner. And it looked like Lynch tried to make the adjustments as he was guarded by Cowan. And it was just out of his reach. There's a lot of contact down there in the corner, but I like the no call. Both kids going for the ball, battling in that corner, just a little bit overthrown. And you've got to think, down 21-0. This is two down territory oh. for Shawnee. No thoughts of trying no. to kick it just to get some points going no. into the halftime. you got to have a touchdown here. They still have one timeout left, so they can run the ball if they want. Bacon looking towards the sideline, and we're going to have another timeout. This time, though, it's going to be by LCC. LCC want to make a few adjustments there, and uh, not a bad timeout by Coach Palti, realizing that uh, if they put it in the end zone, then you're only up two scores with a lot of momentum. I, I think, Nate, this is this is Bacon's best drive tonight, leading his offense down the field. He looked cool in the pocket. He was throwing darts. A great catch by uh, – First young man, the one-handed catch. I can't Derek lie. Lyons. Derek Lyons. And then Garlock with the spectacular catch towards the end zone. And look, two feet away, and he's in the end zone. We're not talking about that. Yeah, it was so close, too. It looked for a minute there. I think even the Shawnee sideline yeah, thought, thought that one was it, yeah. in. And they had that momentum. It stalled a little bit here after that handoff. They had a little bit of trouble with it as it ends up on the turf. They're able to recover, though. Two downs left to go. Obviously, LCC knows how big this spot is as well as they wanted to take the time out to talk about it. Well, here's the thing, Nate. If Shawnee puts the ball in the end zone right here, this changes the entire complexion of the game. Shawnee knows they can run the ball. That offensive line's done a really nice job of that. They know now that if they pass the ball like this, they're, they're in this game. So Shawnee's going to go with the empty backfield. Five wide, three on the right, two on the left. I wouldn't be surprised if they spread it out right here and get Bacon out in the open and let him uh, use his legs a little bit. Bacon does have some speed. He's going to drop back quick passes there, trying to go to the slant on the inside. A ton of contact that time, but no call from the officials as that looked like it was a jam Boy, right yeah. from the get-go. I'll be honest with you, that, that looked like the linebacker came up in coverage and got him before the ball got there, but there was a no call on that at the five-yard line. So, And that was a bang-bang play. So, you know, I'm not blaming the official there. Just looking like a lot of contact. So a huge opportunity right here. Shawnee is going to take their last timeout. It'll be fourth and five when we return. We'll step aside and be back. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years, with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. 34 seconds left to go, fourth and five, a huge play for the Indians. Bacon has Lions to his right in the shotgun. He's going to roll, looking for an opening, going to have to throw it. A flag comes on the play, though, and I believe we're going to have holding. And that, that looks like holding in the backfield, Nate. That's going to be holding maybe on the uh, LCC secondary. We'll see. Yeah, it and is. It, it is. is. Yeah. A huge reprieve for Shawnee as a holding call on the defense will make it first and goal from inside, the, I believe, the two-yard line. Yeah, he saw the Indians receiver. He got clear on the breakaway. He was wide open in the end zone, and you saw the uh, LCC defender grab the jersey. That was an easy call to make, but, boy, a big mistake by the T-Birds. So that is going to be another Citizens National Bank first down as Citizens National Bank is our first down sponsor. See how we're building a business one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. We are still in the eyesight of Lima and Delphus red zone. Dr. Hunter Brink of the eyesight of Lima and Delphus provide quality comprehensive eye care to Lima, Delphus, and surrounding areas. Visit the eyesight of Lima.com for more information. A new lease. It still says fourth down, so it's not an automatic. It's just going to be a replay of the fourth down. Excuse me, as Jones is going to go up the middle. He is met right at the goal line. Yeah, touchdown. And we get a touchdown signal from the far official. It took a minute. We weren't sure if he got in from our angle, but the official signal touchdown and a huge touchdown. Uh, Fat Jack Pizza touchdown, excuse me, for the Shawnee Indians. I'll tell you what, now, you know, we've been a little. Uh, Hesitant to talk about the play calling right there, but what they did right there took a lot of guts with no timeouts left, very little time on the clock. They run the ball up the middle. If they don't get in there, that's it. 
And I think, you know, it's almost one of those, is that the perfect time to do right, it? Because I right, think right. even LCC was geared up for the run. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, the, the pass. pass. The pass, And yeah. that hole was wide open in the middle. Jones with enough strength to push it over the goal line. A great run by Christian Jones. Extra point by Kimmett is up and good as he has a TND Interior extra point. TND Interiors for quality. You can stay and visit TND Interiors on Allentown Road. We talked about it. That was a must have drive for Shawnee. They cash it in. They're still down 14, but as long as they get a hold here and nothing happens, you go into the locker room with a completely different feeling. Oh, absolutely. It was 21 0, and their heads were hanging. And you said the body language of Shawnee was really poor right there, and they come out with a fantastic, a couple of great catches. I mean, that changes the whole momentum, and here we are. They're right back in this at 21 7. Senior Tyler Kimmett is the kicker for Shawnee. Saw him make the TND extra point just a few seconds ago. So he's going to line up the kickoff with 23 seconds left to go here in the half. Are you just going to kick it deep, Danny, yeah, or are you going to try? You think maybe they're going to try for something here? No, I, I, I don't think anything <laughs> funny is going to happen right here. I think you just put the ball down as deep as you can get it, and then you just. Uh, <laughs> Hope LCC maybe takes a knee and goes into the halftime up 14. Finally got the momentum. You don't want to do yeah. anything that might take that Absolutely. one away. Kimmett is going to go ahead and kick this one yeah. deep. Good it's call. going to be in the waiting arms of Cowan. Cowan going to move up across the 20, tries to go towards the sideline, makes one miss, makes another miss, gets to the 25-yard line, will force out of bounds around the 26-yard line. Great coverage by the Indians. They really corralled him, took him towards the sideline, and uh, limited a really big play right there. Absolutely. Mylon Cowan has a game-breaking speed, extremely fast. He can get a little bit of space. He can make you pay. At that time, Shawnee does a great job forcing him out of bounds to limit the damage. And I think what you'll see here, Nate, is because LCC comes out in the second half with the ball, I think you're going to see a knee. I could be wrong, but I know what I would do. And there's also that tempting play of we have Parker. Why not well, maybe just try to go up the middle and see if he can make something well, happen? they've got a man behind him to limit, yeah, a, limit a fumble. Is, <laughs> Kwamen is way back there yeah. that time, so... Like you said, just going to take a knee that time as Parker's going to take it. The time is going to run out, and that is going to bring the first half to a close. It had been pretty much all LCC until the final minute. Shawnee on a big play from Caleb Bacon to Michael Garlock. Get down inside the five-yard line, and Christian Jones is able to punch it in for a touchdown to make a 14-point deficit here at half. We are going to step aside, and we'll be back with some halftime adjustments. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back for the deficit. Welcome back to Shawnee High School for tonight's Halftime Adjustment. Tonight's Halftime Adjustment sponsors the State Bank. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The State Bank. Bringing communities together with food and fellowship with our State Bank Gives program along with the Gives Food Truck. And they will be at Elina on September 8th. For additional dates and information, visit the State Bank Facebook page. Nate Garlock alongside Danny Holbrook as LCC is on top at 21 to 7 as Shawnee luckily able to get in the end zone right before halftime Danny but that offense of LCC and especially Carson Parker was really able to make things happen throughout the entire first half. Yeah, well, he, you know, his skill set is so good that when you try to corral him in the pocket, he can get out. He's got such a big time arm that he can make every throw in the book and his legs, my goodness, he is one of the best running quarterbacks we've seen in a long time. So what kind of adjustments do you think that LCC needs to make? We kind of saw there and Shawnee's able to get into that hurry up and finally able to get some things going on offense. And we saw really the run game really get going and be pretty successful when Shawnee didn't have to get away from it because they were forced to and down in distance. What kind of adjustments does this make? Yeah, well, for, for Alima Central Catholic, I've got one adjustment and one status quo, and the adjustment is LCC, where they were susceptible, was getting beat in the secondary. Those receivers from Shawnee did a really nice job of getting out in space. Nice job by Coach Lewis to get them out in space so they can use their athleticism. LCC's got to keep them in front of it. You saw Nate Gar or excuse me, Garlock get deep and do a great job of catching the ball. Keep those guys in front of you. And the other thing, the status quo is you got to ride the horse. You got the best quarterback on the field. You got the best, maybe the best quarterback in Northwest Ohio. Let him do his thing. You know, 
he's a problem for anybody that they play this year. I'm going to status quo and let him run and throw the ball. On the other side for Shawnee, we saw some things work, some things not. They, they struggled. We had some turnovers. What kind of adjustments do the Indians need to make? Well, for Shawnee, the first thing I would do, uh, and this is no knock about what the Shawnee coaching staff has done, I'd run the ball. I really would. And the reason I say that it does three things, Nate, it gives you momentum. If, you're, if your offensive line is, is flexing their muscle, it, it, keeps, you, it keeps you out of being one-dimensional. You know, you got to you got to promise, you know, if, if you're holding up and those linebackers come up to defend the run, you, you've still got the ability for Bacon to get out onto the boundaries, pass the ball, and use his legs. And thirdly, it keeps Parker off the field. And that's huge. Uh, the next thing they need to do defensively is they got to pressure Parker. When I say pressure Parker, they've got to keep him in the pocket, Nate. They've got to limit his ability to get out to the edge and to scramble. For, unfortunately for Shawnee, he's no stranger to run up the middle. He's really good at it. So that's a big problem. And lastly, they can't turn the ball over. That was a big interception Bacon had. They've got to keep this mistake free. They're still in this game. This is a great game right now. If Shawnee stops LCC on this first drive, this could turn over. But I'm telling you right now, this could be big. Absolutely. The first half of the first game of 2023 is behind us. LCC on top of Shawnee, 21-7, but a lot of football left to play. This has been the State Bank Halftime Adjustment. When we return, we'll have the third quarter and the opening kick. We'll be back on WOSA. Shawnee High School tonight's quarter sponsor is Binkley Real Estate. Binkley Real Estate has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaigns, and extensive network that will get you the results that move you. I'd also like to thank tonight's presenting sponsor, the Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. Third quarter just about underway here at Shawnee High School as the Indians will be kicking it off to the Thunderbirds. LCC finds themselves on top 21-7. Two touchdowns by Carson Parker. Really broke things open for LCC. But Shawnee fortunately able to get back on the scoreboard right at the end of the half as Christian Jones was able to punch in one on the ground. We've said it three or four times tonight, Nate. We've said it a bunch. This is the drive of the game. This is the possession of the game. <laughs> We're going to say it again because, again, if Shawnee can force a three and out or, or, or a minimal drive here by the T-Birds, they've got a shot with the momentum. And if they can score, boy, this game really changes momentum-wise. Now, and if you're LCC, the first thing you want to do is drive it right down the field and, and make no doubt about what your intentions are. You know, and we talked about Carson Parker and what he's been able to do on the ground, you know, but he also has gotten the job done through the air. Oh, a long yeah. pass to Billy Burke, who was yeah. wide open. That was a, a near miss yeah. down here by Mylon Cowan as that one went through his hands. So LCC has also had success in the air. Kimmett. Kimmett gets a good kick. This one off the hands and helmet of Cowan. Going to bounce harmlessly into the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, we haven't talked much about that catch by Billy Burke, but that was sensational. Sensational. So we've seen them be able to do things on the ground, through the air, and this Shawnee defense is going to come out here to begin the third quarter looking to stand tall. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see uh, Nate if Shawnee crowds that line of scrimmage. Right now, they've got one linebacker just man in the middle there, and they've got the other two back helping in the secondary. We'll see what they do here. Gerdman goes in motion. Parker going to hold this one down. Reverses field, spins out to some traffic. And I'll tell you what, he reminds me so much of, not necessarily because he's much faster than what a Ben Roethlisberger was, sure, sure. but how difficult it is to take him down. He just bounces off a tackler, changes directions. You just see guys falling at his feet, and that's not typically something you see in high school. No, you saw right there, he spun three separate times to avoid two tackles on each spin. He, he, six guys missed him in a matter of 10 seconds. He get dizzy just watching him. <laughs> I don't know he's how a, he knows where he is on the field half he's, the time. He's a special player, he really is. Second and short for LCC. Going to hand this one off to Quammen up the middle. Quammen taken down after a short game, but it looks like that's going to be enough for a Citizens National Bank first down. 
And, and everything runs through him, Nate. And when I say that, you saw the handoff right there. You saw the defensive end for Sean. He still stayed with Parker because if he tucks it under and runs, he's, he has a big game. So he's so he's so difficult to defend against. And who look, whoever gets that kid at the next level, I mean, he's only going to get bigger, stronger, faster. He's going to be a tremendous college quarterback. Parker going to carry this one himself, goes out wide. Indians defense gives chase, gets him down, but not after about a four-yard game. Had a little bit of change in the weather here for the second half too, Nate. Yeah, got a little bit of rain right there towards the end of halftime. It's cooled off a little bit, got dark all of a sudden did, as yeah. well. The heavy clouds over top of the stadium right now. Second and five for the Thunderbirds as Carson Parker continues to be able to pick up chunk yardage when he carries the football. Really big crowd on tap tonight here at Shawnee, but the home stands are completely full and LCC brought a really big contingent. So nice, nice first week here. Cowan in motion. Parker carries it himself, goes down on the left side, able to get around some defenders, gets the edge, gets pushed out of bounds, but not before another Citizens Bank or Citizens National Bank first down. Citizens National Bank, see how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Well, and you look here at the game plan so far in the second half, LCC is going to run that clock and they're going to keep the ball on the ground and why not? Offensive line's done a great job all night. Parker's done a great job. Uh, just a lot of weapons. It looks like maybe a flag on the play there. Yeah, it's a little bit of laundry there at, right on the field at the end of that play. So it's going to negate a first down and a big pickup by Parker. Make this second and long for the Thunderbirds. Fortunate break for Shawnee. And so far here in the early going, Parker's been able to do pretty much whatever he wants. Second and 14, Parker waits for the snap. He's going to go to the air, throws this one out. He's going to be gathered in by Mikey Quatman, the freshman able to pick up about five yards on that catch and run. That was a great job by the uh, secondary of Shawnee. Not only did they stop the play, Nate, this is the first time all night they've had they got LCC in third and long. You go third and long, you pretty much can figure out you know, are they going to run? Are they going to pass here? Now, with the situation now being behind the 30-yard line, you got to believe that maybe they'll keep it on the ground and just punt away. But let's see what they do here. So it ended up being a much shorter game than what it initially looked. Just a two-yard pickup, third and 12. As Parker waits back, a huge play here for the Indians' defense, trying to get off the field, give their offense a chance. Parker is going to roll to his left, going to look to throw. Has to pull it down, can't find anybody. Gets out of the first tackler, keeps his eyes upfield. A third tackler. Burke wide open as they just let him run three once again. And Burke is going to go in as he, it looks like, no, he is stopped at the two yard line. But that entire play was kept alive and made possible by Carson Parker avoiding traffic, getting out of three different defenders. And then Burke wide open on the backside as the defense let him run free and almost a exact replica of what we saw in the first quarter. I, Nate, I am stunned. That is an absolute elite play by Carson Park. He was down and out three separate times. What an athletic play by that young man. And, and threw the ball 60 yards in the air, just let it fly. So just like that, LCC is down in the eyesight of Lima and Delphus red zone. And they're looking to extend this lead back out to 21. Parker gets met at the line of scrimmage, but the second effort in the reach is good as he gets into the end zone for another Fat Jack's Pizza touchdown. Fat Jack's Pizza, get to it before or after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. Carson Parker now with his third rushing touchdown of the game. All set up on the broken play that he kept alive where he connected once again deep with Billy Burke. And a what looked like a promising defensive stand for Shawnee turns into what you have to think is a bit of a backbreaker. Well, you, you said it best when he reminds you a lot of Ben Roethlisberger. And as a Cleveland Browns fan, you watch Ben Roethlisberger though, through the years on third and 12, third and 13, third and 15. That was third and 12. They had him stop three separate times. And, and he just pulls magic out of his hat and does an incredible job. He's, he's something special to watch. 
A little bit of trouble that time with the snap, but LCC able to get it down and up as Matthew Quatman now is 4 for 4 on the TND Interiors extra point. Stop by TND Interiors for the quality you can stand. Visit them at TND Interiors on Allentown Road. 28 to 7, 8.32 left to go here in the third quarter as LCC made well after what looked like could have been a disastrous penalty that took away a first down when Carson Parker was able to drive and, and really was doing whatever he could on his feet. And then just like that, the broken play on third and long leads to the big game by Billy Burke and Carson Parker able to finish it off. Shawnee, now, you know, you talked about, we said this drive and this drive. Yeah, there, yeah. Have been, there have been a lot of must-have drives for this Indian team here. And, you know, that can be exhausting because you yeah. know coming out that you have to get something out of this well, drive. Well, and, and look, Coach Lewis has got to tell his kids, you can only score six points a touchdown. Yeah, you, you just got to chip away. And I know that's so cliche. But right now, you're in survival mode. You've got to put the ball in the end zone right now. Look, the defense didn't play bad that possession. They really didn't. They had them where they wanted. They had them third and long. You're, you're looking, you know, you're, you're playing against a kid that's going to play Division One football next year. And that's what they do. That's why he is who he is. Well, and you remember back to the keys of the game that you said, you know, Coach Lewis specifically said we have to uh, limit, limit yep. big plays. Yep. And big plays have absolutely gashed Shawnee so far. So Shawnee is going to come out for their first possession here of the second half. Caleb Bacon had a little bit of an up and down first half, really getting his first extended time at the varsity level, worked through a couple of things, looked great on the last drive going into halftime, looking to continue that here in the third quarter. Yeah, uh, you know, I'll say it again. I, I, I want to see Shawnee continue running the ball. They had success in the first half, and when you run the ball effectively, it opens up a lot of lanes for those wide receivers. A little high snap that time. Bacon Miller gathered in, hands it off to Lyons. Lyons digs, 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 gets through, gets the edge. Derek Lyons is off to the races. And just like that, Shawnee back on the ground, just what you were talking about during the halftime adjustments, got to the running game. And Derek Lyons that time did not stop his feet, broke through that offensive line, or the defensive line of LCC, and takes it all the way and into the touchdown. That goes back, Nate, to the confidence at the last drive of the first half. Those kids believed in each other. That is a Confidence boost for that young line. Derek Lyons with his first Fat Jack's Pizza touchdown of the game and season. Get to Fat Jack's Pizza before or after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. Tyler Kimmon out for the TND Interior extra point. Snap is down, kick is up, and it is good. As Shawnee answers the big play by LCC with one of their own. And we are right back to just a two-score deficit with only 345 here gone. And we're back to square one. It's Rocky 12. I'm telling you, every time Rocky gets knocked down, he comes back. And Shawnee not afraid to flex their muscles a little bit. And a great run by Lions. And that's that's just leadership right there. As he's saying to his guys, you know what, we're not out of this game yet. Let's, let's continue to ride. So now we're kind of right back to where we were when we started this half, where we said it is time for the Shawnee defense to get a stand. If they can get a stand, turn around and get some points. Right. You know, there is a lot of football left to go, but they've got to find some way to stop Carson Parker. <laughs> You've got to get a stop right here. Now look, you get a stop right here, and you turn this 28-21. I, I, I got to believe Coach Lewis is telling his kids, if we can keep this game close in the fourth quarter, you know, I believe in you. They've got to believe in themselves, and, and that's a confidence booster right there. Well, and here's one of the other things, too, that we have, haven't talked about yet. When you look at LCC, we talked about how young they are. They're starting a lot of guys. They have a lot of guys who play two ways. Oh, yeah. It yeah. is the first game of the season. Sure. Now, it's sure. a cool night. It's not as hot yeah. as we're used to for an August opening night game. But eventually, in the third and fourth quarter, what's that cardio like? Sure. You know, are they going to wear down a little bit? They've had, you know, it, it's rough sledding out there. And some of these things that, you know, they've been able to maybe do in the first and second quarter don't come quite as easily in the second half. And, and just right there, you saw the young man kick it into the end zone. They limited LCC the last drive because he, the ball went into the end zone. There's another one. LCC's got 20-yard line field position here, so a great job. The kicking game for Shawnee has been terrific tonight. It Ty has been terrific. Tyler Kimmett, multi-year varsity letter winner for 
his kicking's a, kicking ability only getting better and stronger. Another touchback for him. So LCC is going to come out to the 20-yard line, looking to see if maybe they can't make some magic happen one more time. I wonder if Carson Parker will do something. <laughs> Parker takes the snap, going to keep this one himself. Works up the middle, and you see a little bit of fire right now from that Shawnee defense. That last touchdown, a little fire underneath them. They met Carson Parker right at the line of scrimmage that time and stopped him for no gain. Well, the defensive end stunned there and showed the, shot the gap there, and he got in between the guards, and he met Parker at the line of scrimmage, and a great job. You got you, Look, you can't tackle Carson Parker high. He's too strong. you got to hit him low, and that was a nice tackle by the Shawnee defensive line. Yeah, tackling him is a challenge. You have, to, you have to find the hip. You have to put the shoulder where it needs to be, right around the thigh. You have to get, you don't want to go low and hurt, but you cannot try to tackle him around the shoulders. It's just not going to work. Yeah. Man in motion for LCC. Parker going to keep it, go the opposite direction. The misdirection worked there for a minute, but nice job closing by the Indian defense to limit that to a very short gain of only two yards. You're third and eight right here. This is exactly what Shawnee had him in, or not, not the exact yardage, but they had him third and long last time. Here you go again, third and eight. Can they get off the field this time? Last time we saw LCC in a third and long, Carson Parker continues a lot, to play alive, moved around. Burke shook free, and we saw a 60-plus yard pass play. I'm double covering Burke if I got the chance. I'm not letting him get behind me at all. Right up the middle, first down as Matthew Quatman catches a quick strike from Carson Parker. And that's going to be enough for a Citizens National Bank first down. He stepped to the outside. He took the defensive back with him to the outside. He leans back in, and Carson Parker throws an absolute strike down the middle of the field. That is a really tough position to play that slot position because you're getting knocked around a lot and he has to play the middle of the field. So there's going to be a lot of contact, but wow, nice job by Quatman. New set of downs, first and 10 for LCC. As they move ever closer to midfield. Another quick pass. This one's going to go out to the far sideline. It looks like that one was meant for Mikey Quatman after a short game. Uh, excuse me, it was Dakota Gerdeman on that catch. Nate, when you think of elite players and you think of players who make a difference in a game week in and week out, there's no better example than right here in Carson Parker. He's, he's the difference in this game right now. His athletic ability, his playmaking, his leadership. And it looks like we another had another flag, penalty. Yeah. They pick it up. It's going to be a hold on LCC. It's going to push him back 10 yards. So going the wrong way for the T-Birds. Last time they, yeah, able, they were able to make it work. Yeah. It's going to be the Shawnee defense. You know, and you mentioned they'll try to double cover Burke, but quite frankly, right now you just need to single cover. Right, the guy just needs to stay on him. They've twice now he's found himself wide open. That defense right now just has to stay home on first and 20. Parker going to run up the middle. Will be pursued. He's going to change direction. Going to this change through again. Unbelievable! It is unfair that a that somebody his size can move that fast, is that quick on his feet, and he got almost all. Well, he definitely got all the penalty yardage back, but then almost picked up enough for that first down as well. First and twenty is going to turn into second and four. Nate, this looks <laughs> the old ad, the old saying, "Man amongst boys." He's doing whatever he wants right now, and Shawnee's defense is not playing bad. They're just having such a difficult look. The rest of the season, whoever you play LCC, you better get ready. <laughs> just telling you, well, this, this team's only going to get better. And it's just his field vision is so oh. good. He he can anticipate so well. He knows where openings are going to be, and he hits those holes so quickly that he's able to keep these plays alive. Play clock down to one. Able to get it just off in time. Quatman with the handoff, dies over top. He's going to be stopped after a two-yard game. He's going to bring up third and short for LCC. I wouldn't be surprised that this is two-down territory with, <laughs> with the quarterback like Parker at the 50-yard line. He hasn't taken a loss tonight, so, you know. We've seen him get stopped at the line of scrimmage, but we haven't seen any negative yardage yet. So third and one. 
And we'll see what LCC draws up, but quite frankly, I'd be shocked if it's anything except for a Carson Parker run. And he's gonna run it up the middle. Great blocking by that offensive line. As Parker finds some space on the right side, picks up another big game, and that's going to be another Citizens National Bank first down. He took a really hard hit on the end of that play, Nate. He went helmet to helmet with one of the Nishani defenders. And to show how strong he is, he bounced right back up. So a lot of yardage picked up by LCC. We've seen Penalty yardage, they've been able to get that back as Carson Parker just continues to put on a show tonight. The Shawnee defense trying to have an answer. 4.40 left to go in the quarter. They're gonna crowd the line of scrimmage. And even when they do, they still find some space. This time it's gonna be Matthew Quatman as he picks up seven. And now you're seeing we talked about maybe the wear and tear on LCC because of the numbers, but you're seeing Shawnee showing a little bit of, uh, you know, I don't know if, if tired is the right word or maybe, you know, just running out of a little gas here. It's got to be frustrating to be down there yeah, exactly. knowing That's what's great, going to happen yeah. with the football but still not able to stop it. And you have to give a ton of credit to that LCC front line. Routing the line one more time. This time it's going to be Parker. Parker for the first time tonight. Stop for a loss. A great job by the defense to shoot through and get a loss of four on the play. I think that's the first loss all night, if I'm correct. Now, they've not had many of those, but a great job by that young man of shooting the gap and taking down Carson Parker. Third and long for LCC. See the crowd trying to get behind this team, rev them up. Parker going to go to the right side, lots of space. Only one man to beat, and he beats him, but he's tackled. And we'll see, does that look like yeah, he's maybe gonna be he's going to be short? He's going to be short about be a interesting yard. Interesting to see if LCC chooses to go for it here, as they're going to be on the 45-yard line. And right now, LCC is not trying to do anything fancy. They're not even disguising really what they're doing. There are no receivers out. Everybody is in close. They're just putting the ball in Parker's hands and letting him go to work. And they're going to go for it. They're going to keep him on the field. And let's see what kind of defense the Shawnee lines up. And I got to believe they're going to crowd the line, keep those defensive ends in tight. Fourth and one. Parker takes it. Going to go right up the middle. And he gets enough yardage for the first down. Carson Parker picks up another Citizens National Bank first down as they continue to move the chains and eat up a ton of clock here. Almost a six-minute drive so far here in the third quarter. Boy, a ton of credit to that LCC offensive line. We've talked about them all night. Those kids are young. You got a quarterback like Carson Parker back there. You don't have to be great. You just have to be a sign of football, put a hat on a hat. And those kids have done a great job of being disciplined. And, you know, they had a couple of holding penalties, but they've done a great job. Parker's going to hand this one off to Quatman. He's going to move along that right side, cuts it back, gets some more yardage, makes another man miss before he's tripped up as he picks up 10 yards on the play, and that's going to be another first down. And we have an injured Indian down. Looks like maybe some cramping issues, but they're going to work on him. We'll step aside and be back on WOSA. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Luffin. Garrett Looney was the injured Indian on the play as he was able to walk off the field and get to the bench. Carson Parker going to take this one again himself, fights through some more contact, another six-yard gain. He just continues to turn, turn out yardage. Carson Parker takes a lot of hits because of the way he plays football, but he just bounces back after each play, and uh, he's got to be sore after this game. Absolutely. Sean, he's really hit him hard, but he's done a great job tonight. We've reached a minute 10 left to go in the quarter. 
LCC got the ball with 8.42 left to go in this quarter and they have gone on a very long sustained drive. Shawnee trying to come up with a stop. Parker on second down, hands it off. Quabman right up the middle, a big hole. He picks up another first down before he's taken down inside the 10-yard line. That is another Citizens National Bank first down as they get into the eyesight of Lima in Delphus red zone. Well, Shawnee's going to have to make some serious adjustments here as far as bringing guys up to the line because they're not, you know, they're not throwing the ball right now. They're just, you know, you said it best. They're nothing fancy. They're just coming at you and putting a helmet on a helmet. Uh, so let's let's see what Shawnee does here on the goal line situation. Or the red zone, excuse me. Not having Looney in there right now is a big loss for this team. As he plays really hard and intense as he's right there on that yeah, they're uh, gonna, they're linebacker. Gonna, it looks like we're going to have a hold. That one's going to come back, I believe. So this one will push LCC back. And unfortunately for Shawnee, though, we've seen a couple of penalties on this drive, but it has not stopped the Thunderbirds. Yeah, and here's the thing, too, Nate. Even if LCC does not put the ball in the end zone, they've taken a huge amount of time off the clock with a two-touchdown lead. <coughs> 28, 14, 20 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. And the play clock and scoreboard show just about the same amount of time Maybe half a second difference. So it'll. And they're going to go ahead and let this one run out to bring the quarter to an end. After three quarters of play, LCC on top, 28 14. We'll step aside and be back. Listen. Welcome back. Tonight's quarter sponsor is Bakley Real Estate. Bakley Real Estate has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaigns, and an extensive network that will get you results that move you. Also like to thank tonight's presenting sponsor, the Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. Fourth quarter just about underway. LCC on top, 28-14. It's going to be first and goal from the 20 after a holding penalty. It's Shawnee so far just has not had the answers for Carson Parker. Yeah, first and 20. It goes to show you those holding penalties are just killer. Now, uh, you know, we talk about the both young offensive lines, but that, you know, this is a huge drive here for LCC to put this game away, and those holding penalties really come back to bite you. It's a big down for Shawnee as they have not been able to prevent LCC from picking up chunk plays when they've been pushed back. Need to get them into second and third down in long situations. Two wide receivers on the near sideline, one on the far. Parker by himself in the backfield. Cowan comes in motion, takes the hands off, works to the right, uses that speed to his advantage before he gets forced out of bounds after about a five or six yard gain. Joey Spiker in on the stop. So it's going to bring up a second and 14, or second and goal from the 14, excuse me. Not a lot of room to operate down here when you get down the red zone. So uh, Shawnee, a little bit of a speed advantage, and uh, the physicality right now is going LCC's way. So let's see if they continue to run the ball up the middle or try to get it out on the boundaries. Got single coverage on the left side here, watching it and see if he doesn't throw on that side. Going to go right through the middle, wide open for a touchdown, LCC. Yeah, that was pitch and catch right there. He went right down the middle, and nobody was within five yards of him, and he just walks into the end zone. I mean, another Shawnee Indian player down on the turf. Trainer going to run out and check on him. We'll step aside again and be back. Welcome back. Tonight's touchdowns are sponsored by Fat Jack's Pizza. Get to Fat Jack's Pizza before or after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. Carson Parker throw for his second Fat Jack's Pizza touchdown of the night. That goes along with his three rushing touchdowns. 
as Matthew Quatman comes out for another attempt at a TND interior extra point. Snap is down, kick is up. And it is good. Great job by the holder getting that ball. That was low snap. Matthew Quatman, five for five on his TND and Interior extra points. TND Interiors for quality you can stand on. Visit TND Interiors on Allentown Road. 11:52 left to go in the game. And LCC extends their lead to 35-14 after a extended offensive possession. Last time Shawnee had the football, it took one play to score. They've had one possession here in the second half that lasted about 30 seconds. And that is the only time their offense has been on the field so far. Yeah, it's been unbelievable. The consistency of the LCC offense and the way they've dominated the line of scrimmage. And, uh, you know, it goes back to Carson Parker. And I said it before the game, he can extend plays. His skill set is so good with moving his feet, and he's just such a good runner. I, he, he's so much better, so much of a better runner than I. I've seen him play a few times. Tonight, he's he's just, he's a difference maker. It definitely looks like he's taking that next yeah, step yeah, in that, that, that's in that what kind I was of that say. evolution of, of yeah. a player. And we knew he was good. We knew what he was capable of, but he just looks different tonight. Yeah, he does, he does. He looks worthy of playing for anybody in the country right now. <laughs> Wildman comes out to line up the kickoff. As Shawnee is hoping they can get a quick response here. And then they've got to try to figure out some answers on defense. But first and foremost, they got to put some points up. Yeah, you, you got to really hurry up. And uh, <laughs> but here's the problem. If you, if you can score quick, you're not giving your defense much resting time. And that's a tired group right now. And you can't take very much time to score because you're down three scores. Squib kick taken by Shawnee. That one's going to get blown back down to where he gathered that in as he had a knee down. So Quatman not wanting to go deep, leaving those short, not letting Shawnee have any opportunity to set up anything on the return. As Bacon comes back out for Shawnee's second possession of the half. He probably feels like he hasn't been out there in a long time, <laughs> which he hasn't. First and 10 on the 32 yard line for the Indians. Find themselves down 35-14 here in the opening game of the 2023 season. Four wide receivers. Bacon back in the shotgun. Takes the snap, gonna hand it off. Lyons shakes the tackle again. Works through the middle one more time. Able to shake three as he has a big gain of 13. To pick up a Citizens National Bank first down. Well, he, he's, he's done a really good job tonight of, of keeping those feet going. And he's, he's done an excellent job of finding the holes and getting big gains for the Indians. First and 10, 11.30 left to go. Bacon's going to drop back, looks to air it out, going to throw it deep. This one is up for grabs and intercepted by LCC. A huge turnover for the Thunderbirds. Yeah, nice job by number 13 in the LCC defensive backfield. He just played center field and waited for the ball to land in his arms. Dakota Gerdeman comes up with that turnover as LCC will come back onto the field. The third turnover of the game for LCC, or excuse me, for Shawnee. Well, partner, I'll be honest with you. I don't expect LCC to put the ball in the air right now. Ball control offense, run the clock, and walk out of here with a 1-0 uh, season start. And Shawnee's going to have to figure out some way to shut down Carson Parker here, as you'd imagine the run game between him and Matthew Quatman will try to take over. And off to Quatman up the middle. Quatman, after about three yards, gets taken down. Clock continues to run. So that's the Shawnee's worst enemy right now. And we talked about the mistakes for Shawnee and 
you know, when they would be able to look at this film and kind of pinpoint the, the opportunities that they missed. And that last one was another one. It looked like the receiver had a step one more time, but that one kind of fluttered. Well, and I think ended you, up yeah. short and it ended up into the easy turnover. But these are all things that can be fixed. You know, Shawnee, sure. you know, even though the score is right now pretty lopsided, down three scores as Parker goes right up the middle, going to make this one third and short. Shawnee left a lot of opportunity out on the field here so far in this game. Well, you look back to the start of the second half, and Shawnee's down 21 to 7. They've got Parker and the Birds at third and 14, and a perfect opportunity to stop them, get the momentum, and go to a one score game. And Carson Parker just does an incredible run that, you know, very few high school kids can do, and it changed the entire momentum. He throws a 50 yard strike to Billy Burke, and there's the two touchdown or three touchdown lead. Third and short for LCC. Parker waits for the snap. Going to take this one up the middle himself. Ran into some traffic, but adjusted. Was able to pick up another four yards. And it's just, it's so, I know we've said it over and over and over at this point, but watching him, it, it's just impressive. He runs the line of scrimmage. Looks like he stopped. Doesn't panic. Just makes an adjustment. Picks up four yards. Yeah, you remember a couple years ago, Le'Veon Bell for the Pittsburgh Steelers, who did that little stop and start. He'd wait for the hole to open up. And he was so patient because he had such a great offensive line. He's doing the same thing. He's watching the line. He's coming up. He's reading the holes. And then he's accelerating. And he's such a good athlete. He's, he's doing it with ease. You know, and the defense isn't doing a bad job. No, They're plugging holes not where they need to be. It's just Carson is making them miss. Yeah. Parker takes a snap, hands it off to Quatman up the middle. Quatman works through his traffic, picks up about five yards. LCC just continues to bleed that clock as we reach the nine minute to play mark. And, and look, you're, you're correct, Shawnee. These are all mistakes that can be made. Shawnee, they're going to get better. You, you can see they've got to get that identity. Are we going to run the rock? Are we going to, you know, pound the ball? Are we going to air it out? What, are, what is our identity? What are we going to be known as? And when they figure that out, they're going to have a nice season. They've got a lot of really good kids on this team. But, you know, we've seen the wide receivers tonight look fantastic. You know, the quarterback has got to, you know, make some good decisions, and he's the leader of this team, and, and, he, and he'll learn to do that. He's a young kid, but uh, there's a lot of growing potential for the Shawnee Indians. I, I don't think, you know, this is a bad team at all. So second and five for the Thunderbirds. Play clock at 20, and LCC in no hurry. Eight thirty left to go here in the game as Parker stays back into the backfield, waits for the snap, play clock under ten. We're gonna hand this one off to Quatman. He's gonna go up the middle, and that's a heck of a one-two punch. As, you know, Carson Parker has done most of the heavy lifting, taking a lot of contact here tonight. And then in the fourth quarter, when everybody's wearing down, you have a fresh Matthew Quatman. Makes this Thunderbird team very dangerous. Yeah, they, you're absolutely right. We have another injured, in, injured Indian down on the field. They're going to come out and work on him, so we will step aside and be back. Melissa. Scoreboard is brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years, with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Injured player was able to walk off the field. A lot of cramping issues happening here late in the game. As LCC once again letting that play clock come all the way down. Quatman fights for some yardage, this time a short game. Bring up second and eight. One of the Shawnee Indians lost their helmet. He's going to come out of the game for a play. Can't see the number here. It's like number 55. It's going to be Isaiah Meeks. His, his helmet popped off big time. He came out of the game real quick. Officially second and nine here. It's been a while since Shawnee has held LCC to that short of yardage. See if they're able to do it again. Parker going to keep this one himself. Goes off the right side. He's going to be tackled after about a three-yard game. <laughs> bring up third and long, third and five. Parker didn't try to avoid anybody over there. He just said, you know what, I'm just going to take a slide, let the clock continue running. That's just good. That's good football for the senior captain. 
he understands the situation. So it will be third and five for the Thunderbirds. And what do you think? Two down territory? Or do you think if you don't get it, you go ahead and kick it and try to hold them only 6.30 left to go here in the game? Uh, no, you're on the other side of the 50. You're going to end the game. You, you, you could really slam the door here if you get a first down. And I think if you get close, you're going to go for it. Here's Kowalman. He's going to go wide, cuts it back up. He is going to be stopped short. So it's decision time for the Thunderbirds, and it'll be fourth and two, fourth and three. No, I don't, think, I don't think they're going to punt. I think they're going to go for it. It, it, does, help, it yeah. does help that, uh, that Parker is your punter if that's what you wanted to do. I think you're on that side of the 50. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's He's a, looking at his wristband. Yeah. LCC is going to go for it. I think you absolutely, with a player like him in Nothing the Nothing to lose no, and everything to gain Right, here. right. You do a hard count. If you draw them off sides, you get the, you know. Right there. And there they that's went. exactly what I'm talking about. That's Ball a senior start. quarterback. That, that's, a, that's a set play, Nate. That's, I'm telling you right now, that's a set play. And that is going to be a false start by Shawnee. Going to give LCC a number Citizens National Bank first down. Citizens National Bank, see how we're, we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. How did I know that? You got Tony Romo sitting here. I, I knew they were going to do that. <laughs> That's the kind of insight you get tuning into WOSN week in and week out. And we're humble. That's the important thing. <laughs> I just had a feeling Carson Parker was going to do that, and it paid off. I totally guessed. And off this time up the middle. Wattman slammed on the brakes as contact was coming after about a six-yard gain that time. Nate, if, if you're Coach Lewis, what, what, what do you tell your kids after this game? Because there, there's some positives to build on, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think that's one of those things where, you know, you have to be honest about the mistakes sure. that you made, you know, because there were some pretty glaring ones. They weren't small mistakes. They had some breakdown in coverages, but they had things that they can look at. There are tangibles. It's not this team lined up, they punched you in the mouth, they were better than you were. There are some very clear mistakes that they can look at and they can fix. You're honest about those. You say, hey, listen, we did some good things. We have to limit the other mistakes that we made offensively. We've got to limit those turnovers. You know, and I think that there's still a lot of room for growth on this team. You know, you're still talking about a, a brand new coaching staff, a brand new scheme. You know, a lot of things that they're still getting used to as a, a, a Shawnee team. But unfortunately for them, they got that that grinder that is the WBL. They've got to uh, fix some things. They got to get it done. You got to fix them quick. Yeah. And the, the one thing I tell them, I emphasize to those kids, if this score stays the same, I tell those kids, look. They outscored you 14 to seven in the second half. You played with them from, from the end of the second quarter to the, the end of the, you played with them, fellas. You did everything you needed to do. You made some mistakes and that's part of learning. This is young group, they're gonna get better. So another Citizens National Bank, first down for the Thunderbirds, Parker. They had a fumble. It looked like a little bit of a late hit there as Parker looked like he was down covering that ball up. But no flag. Well, I think what happened was Carson Parker took a knee when he picked the fumble up and his knee was down. And it looked like the Shawnee defensive lineman didn't recognize that he was down because he was stand or he was half up on a knee. So just uh, I, I don't think it was intentional to hurt Carson Parker. I just think they were trying to, you know, tackle. Yeah, exactly. It's going to bring up second and long with under four left to go here in the game. And, and I don't think you can hurt Carson. Yeah, I'm <laughs> He's not sure a robot. Why. I don't He's know a robot. Carson. <laughs> Parker with the handoff to Quaman. He's going to try to go out wide. The defense gives chase. Good pursuit by the Indians. Going to drop him, but we are going to have clock stoppage as a timeout by the Indians on third and long. So Shawnee not giving up, not willing to let the clock just run out. They're hoping to get another offensive possession here before the game comes to an end. Well, you just saw in that last play, Nate, Shawnee's kids are still playing really hard. They're playing aggressive, and uh, they're, they're still trying to win the football game. And if you're Coach Lewis, that, that's all you can ask for is your kids play 100% the entire game. Well, LCC takes the timeout. I like to think tonight's instant replay, or excuse me, Shawnee's timeout. I like to think tonight's instant replay sponsor. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpaw, Delphus, and St. Mary's. 
Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where Homestyle happens here. I'd like to thank tonight's presenting sponsor, Union Bank. Union Bank is committed to you. Quarter sponsor tonight, Bankley Real Estate. Extra points brought to you by TND Interiors. Touchdowns by brought to you by Fat Jack's Pizza. Uh, thanks all of our local businesses that help bring us these games week in and week out. Excited for the 2023 football season. So many great games here on WOSN getting underway tonight. Two other games will be brought to you on WOSN as well from tonight. And then our full slate of Friday night football. 321 left to go. Third and long for the Thunderbirds. Parker. Sets the man in motion, takes the snap, going to keep it himself, going to roll, looks to throw, throws it deep, wide open, one more time, touchdown, LCC. Yeah, Burke got behind the defense, that's the third time tonight he's got behind him, and uh, just a good, you know, a great pass by Parker. You know, that's, you know, we're talking about the things that Coach Lewis can talk about with his team, and, and honestly, one of the easiest ones, if they can just figure out where the miscommunication sure, happened sure. in that secondary. Absolutely. When you look at there and you find out, you know, it was it meant to be a pass off that someone missed a call, whatever the miscommunication was, because clearly what it was. Like Absolutely. They, you know, there was miscommunication on those three times that we saw Burke now get behind uh, the defense, this time leading to another Fat Jacks Pizza touchdown. As Matthew Plotman looks to go a perfect six for six um, at the on the T and D interior extra point. But if they could just get that fixed already going into next week they'll be head and shoulders sure. above where they were tonight uh, limiting big plays we've talked about it all night Matthew Quaman does get it to go through so that is another T and D interior extra point T and D interiors for quality you can stand on visit T and D interior on Allentown Road 315 left to go in the game 42 14 LCC on top Shawnee's going to get one more crack at it here on offense. You know, we talked a lot about Shawnee and what they can build on moving forward and some of the things they need to look at and, and can easily fix, I believe, with this team. And because they have to, because of the schedule that they have sure. coming up. But let's not overlook the schedule that LCC has to play. They, they've got this a, is a gauntlet. This is a, uh, a fantastic game tonight. Carson Parker can do just about anything he wants on the football field. But being an independent, Shawnee's, or excuse me, LCC's schedule is absolutely brutal. brutal. Yeah, it is. They're going to be playing some big-time schools, and they're going to see some really good competition. So they're, 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 those young offensive linemen and defensive linemen are going to have to really get good quick. And, and, and look, they're capable. You've seen them tonight. They've played outstanding. If you're Coach Palti, you couldn't have asked for a no, better start no, to right. the season with no. the way that this game needed to be a catalyst for LCC. Regardless of how it went, they needed to know that they could come out here with those young lines and they would give them a chance to compete. And absolutely. they succeeded and then some tonight. Absolutely, absolutely. They did a great job and they showed no fear. And, and you can see the uh, the pride they have in that run game. And, and why not? When you've got a, a young man in Carson Parker, you, you don't have to be great. You just have to be good. And uh, they have been really good tonight. Another squib kick as Shawnee has a little bit of trouble picking that one up. That one's going to be down, though, back right around the 20-yard line. So Shawnee will come out with 3.11 left to go. They're going to have to hope for some big strikes. They're going to need a lot to go right here. Hey, you see more and more every year. You see more and more uh, high school football fields going to the turf. Uh, and really, on a night like tonight, where the rain came down a little bit in the first half, it really has paid dividends. It was a little bit of a slick track there in the first half, but man, these schools that are going to these turfs, it's really paying dividends. Yeah, absolutely. Brand new turf out here last year, just the second year playing on it. As Shawnee running some late substitutions onto the field. Play clock still at 10. Long pass play. This time it's going to be to Garlock as he's able to gather that one in right around the 30. As that one's going to be enough for a Citizens National Bank first down. Shawnee's going to go ahead and take the timeout to stop the clock. Nice pitch and catch there from Bacon to Garlock. 
And it, excuse me, it was not a timeout. It was just a quick stoppage to move the chains. So Shawnee in the hurry up. Bacon gets the snap, gonna go quickly, goes out wide. Pass comes to Lynch. Lynch gonna look to get out of the bounds. And he's able to, that will stop the clock with 2.44 left to go. If you're LCC, you're basically playing a prevent defense right now. You're keeping guys in front of him. You're gonna let him go the length of the field because you're gonna get the ball back and timeouts are gonna be limited. So, you know. So another Citizens National Bank first down for Shawnee as they near midfield. Bacon in the shotgun, takes the snap, gonna air it out again. This time gonna go to the other side of the field to Garlock one more time. Picks up a block, makes a man miss. He's gonna get taken down. This is gonna be another Citizens National Bank first down. Garlock got a block from one of his teammates to help get him a couple of extra yards. They continue to move down the field here with the clock running. Three wide receivers in the bunch on the near side. Two on the far side, empty backfield for Shawnee. Line, Shawnee Gonna go deep, this one. Gonna go right to the back side there of that bunch on the near sideline, fighting for the extra yardage does a great job. Able to pick up one that's a gain of nine on first down. Yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna be just about a yard short of a first down, but a great effort by the receiver. 2.10 left to go. And unfortunately for Shawnee, which has seemed to have been the problem most of the night, they get things going and they have that momentum stop. This time it's going to be because of a flag holding. It's going to push them back, make it first and 20. You know, you said it earlier tonight, these are plays that can be corrected, but boy, they just they just kill you when you're trying to execute and you're trying to have young guys do new things and uh, coming out of camp, you don't want to see this many mistakes. You know, Coach Lewis, he, you know, he these are the things that he talked about. He knew that his team was going to have to do in order to come away with that. And, you know, we talked about limiting big plays. And it was also playing um, and limiting mistakes. And we've seen the big play and we've seen lots of mistakes, unfortunately. Great catch and run that time. J.J. Spiker able to get back up near the first down marker. Get a big pickup of about 17. Shawnee's got some really nice athletes on the, on the wide receiver positions. It's just getting the ball to them and getting them in space. Shawnee's still trying to hurry up. Under a minute 30 left to go. Bacon going to go deep. Going to look for Lynch, but Parker right there. And it is very fitting that this one ends by the hands of Carson Parker as he stepped in front of that pass intended for Dominic Lynch. Picks that one off for the fourth turnover of the night for the Indians. And you can tell the frustration by the Indians players. But when you come up against a buzzsaw that is Carson Parker, and well, we know that LCC is a team. And this is sure. a team oh, game. Absolutely. They have a lot of players out there. But I'll tell you what. One player can make a big difference, and Carson Parker is that player. Well, well you, you look at kids like Carson Parker, and, and you say to yourself, could they start on any team in the area? An absolute answer is yes with that young man. You can't say that about a lot of kids. Carson Parker is one of those athletes that could start on every team in the area, no matter the size of the school. He's that good of an athlete. Uh, he's, he is a just a talent. Now, Looks like LCC has put in the JV squad. They don't want to risk any injuries to the starters. It's going to be a run play. As we, the ball came out late, but they're going to say that the quarterback was down prior to the fumble. They bring up second and long. A minute left to go here in the game. Well, LCC. Is going to go to 1-0 here on the early season. They have a big matchup next week against Delphi St. John's. The last look at that score was absolutely dominating Delphi Jefferson. They were on top 42-7. to Well, here, here's the thing about that, Nate. This is a Thursday night game. They don't play until Saturday, so they're absolutely. getting two extra days of rest. for. And I, when I mean rest, I'm just talking about mentally taking a break. They're going to practice, obviously, every day. But that's a big advantage for the squad. I, you know, if I'm Coach Pulte, I look forward to that. Absolutely. St. John's, same thing. As, uh, 
Both right, right. teams are going to be very well rested going into that That's Saturday afternoon game. matchup. That's going to be a great game. They both put up points tonight. The offense has got things going. The defenses were able to hold down their opponents. That should be an excellent matchup. The final seconds tick off the clock here at Shawnee High School as LCC defeats Shawnee 42 14. They take the three game series 2 to 1 as Shawnee won the first game, and LCC took the two subsequent games after that. We will step aside and we'll be back to wrap everything up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back on WOSA. Welcome back to Shawnee High School into the State Bank post-game recap. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial services needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hey, Garlock alongside Danny Holbrook. And Danny, you know, I don't know that this game really went the way that it looked like it was going to from the very beginning. Shawnee got the ball to start this game. It looked like they were going to just dominate <laughs> up front. They, they moved did. that ball up all over that defensive line of LCC early. And then they had a penalty that killed that drive followed by a, a couple of turnovers that led to LCC touchdowns, some blown coverages, and things just kind of spiraled and unraveled on them very quickly. Well, you talk about when coaches know their teams and you look at each of the keys to the game for LCC before the game started, their coaches said limit the pre-snap mistakes. They played a pretty clean game tonight. Had a few holding penalties, but most of the time they played a pretty clean game. No big plays. They gave up one big play, and that was the big play to uh, Garlock in the end zone. And the last one is to take care of the football. They didn't turn the ball over much at all. They did a great job. And then you look over at Shawnee, win the turnover battle. They, they did not win the turnover battle. Execute well in goal line situations. They had a little trouble down there. They scored one on the goal line, but they really didn't, you know, get down that far. And last, the one that they did well was four quarters of full effort. Yeah, that's, that's a given. These kids are kids, and they're going to give effort. But you look at those keys to the game, and these coaches know their team. Shawnee's going to get better. LCC is going to get really good. <laughs> yeah, a lot of football still left to play. Week one is done. A tough schedule on both sides for both of these teams. Shawnee begins the WBL grinder starting next week. Elida comes visiting. And then LCC will travel to Delphi St. John's next Saturday to take on the Blue Jays. You know, a lot of talent on both sides of these teams. This Shawnee team, you know, we were talking off air. This is not a 42 to 14 team. No, no, team. not at all. This is a, this, that you can see the talent that they have on this team Absolutely. on offense. There were some some players that you would thought have been more involved that just sure. putting it going. LCC did a great job. You know, Dominic Lynch, did, you know, probably their, their number one receiver, offensive threat didn't really get going. Derek Lyons played a great game tonight, really though. We saw really him have the great run. But you saw them in spurts be able to get things going downfield in the air. You saw them be able to run the ball effectively. It is there. Shawnee is not... The, it's not what the scoreboard showed, and they're going to be able to clean up a lot of these mistakes. They're, they're going to be effective in the WBL. They're going to make some noise. Now, you know, what they're going to do, I don't know. Uh, that's yet to be seen. But look, everything they did tonight that they, they can correct. And, and as you said, there's a lot of really good athletes. They're going to have to figure out their identity. They're going to have to really get after it this week in practice to correct those mistakes. I look for them to have a big second week. The biggest jump of the year in most programs is from week one to week two. So we're going to see both these teams and see that, that you know, the, the the corrections they make and the jump that they get. You know, we talked a lot about Carson Parker for LCC, but we cannot get out of here without giving credit to that offensive and defensive line of LCC. Fantastic. Those young men playing early in their careers, their high school careers, they look absolutely phenomenal. Fantastic. They, they did a great job of holding their blocks, that run block, pass block. They gave Parker all kinds of time. Uh, now, obviously, he's a magician back there, and he does a great job. But kudos to both the offensive and defensive line for LCC and a great job. A great game plan by Coach Palti. They came in here, they executed, they did what they wanted. Uh, big season ahead for the Birds. And that is just going to about do it for us here at Shawnee and the State Bank postgame recap. Danny, I couldn't be happier to open the 2023 season with you calling this game. A lot of great games on WSN as we move down the road. And it is here. It seems like last season it would never come. <laughs> and now we're here. Right. Night one is in the books. And high school football is back. Yeah, WSN, the best coverage of high school uh, sports in Northwest Ohio, maybe in the state of Ohio, maybe in the whole country for high school sports. I'm just proud to be a part of it. 
I'd like to thank all of our sponsors one final time. The Ice Side of Lima and Delphus Fat Jacks Pizza, t and Interiors, Binkley Real Estate, the State Bank, Union Bank, Lima Chevrolet, Cadillac, Web Insurance Agency, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Citizens National Bank. We appreciate everything that you guys do for us. Help us bring these broadcasts to all of the viewers. Thank you so much for your support. One final time from Shawnee. LCC knocks off the Indians 42-14 to open the 2023 season. Thanks for tuning in and have a great night, everybody.